Apostle Dr. Faith Walters received the call from the Lord to begin a ministry that would empower individuals for success in the kingdom of God. And Lord God, we thank you for being such a great God. Lift your we hands. thank you for being a loving God, a gracious Welcome God. Welcome to Women and Men of Excellence Outreach Ministries. Located in Mount Vernon, New York, and online at wamo.org. Join Apostle Dr. Faith Walters, live on Sundays and Wednesdays at 2 p.m. for divine service, empowerment, worship, prayer, words of encouragement, Bible education, fellowship and more. This broadcast is a production of WAMO Media Network. Thank you for joining us. If you want to support this ministry, please subscribe, like, share this video, and leave a comment. It's easy and will cost you nothing. If you want to donate, please visit www.wamo.org forward slash give. You can watch our services via our website, live.wamoe.org, on television via Carib Vision, at caribvision.tv, and on the YouTube and Facebook apps. You are the Jesus, we exalt you Jesus, I love you Jesus.
life. He removes all pain, misery and strife. He promised to keep me, never to leave me. He never, never falls short on his word. I'm gonna fast, pray, stay in the narrow way and keep my life clean every day. I wanna go with him when he comes back. I've gone too far and I'll never turn back. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless your name, Jesus. We glorify your name, Jesus. We magnify your name. Lord God, we give you honor, glory, and praise. We thank you for your awesomeness, your greatness, your kindness, your love. Thank you, God, that we have come this far by faith. Lean on the last in arms, dear God trusting in your word father you have never failed us and we bless your name on today god is our all in all god is our everything god is the joy and the strength of our lives hallelujah bless the name of jesus oh we thank you jesus right now we magnify your name right now. Let's go into prayer. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name. Thank you, Lord, for all that you have done for us today. Thank you, Jesus, for being God all by yourself. Thank you, Jesus, for loving us the way you do. 
Thank you, Jesus, for being our Jehovah Jireh, our provider on today, God. Thank you for being Elohim, our creator, Jesus. Thank you for your blessing, God. Thank you for your anointing. Thank you for your grace, your peace. Lord God, we pass it all understanding. Great is your faithfulness. Your mercies are new every morning, God. It's fresh every day, Jesus. And we thank you, God, for all that you have done for us, Jesus. Thank you for life, health, and strength, God. Thank you, God, that you came to bless us each and every day, God. Thank you for the breath that we breathe, oh God. Thank you for the air, oh God. Lord Jesus, we bless you for even as the roof of our head, Jesus. We don't want to take anything to grant it on today, God. God. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. We're the use of our limbs there, God. Thank you, Jesus, that you have been the Alpha and Omega, God. The beginning and the end, Father. The first and the last, Jesus. You've been everything to us, God. You never leave us or forsake us, Jesus. And we bless you on today, God. No matter how many times men have fallen short of you, God, you are still there, Lord Jesus Christ. Waiting patient in line, Lord God. You are there all the time, God. Waiting for man to say yes to your will, yes to your way, yes. I surrender my life to you, Jesus. And I pray today, God, that someone here in this broadcast, Jesus, that they will surrender their life to you, God. Lord, God, they will understand that you're the greatest thing that ever happened to them, God. May they believe, Lord Jesus Christ, that success is wrapped up in having a lot of money. Many believe uh, wrapped up success is wrapped up in, in family and friends and every, having everything to their comfort. Uh, but the greatest success uh, is knowing Jesus Christ as Lord. Uh, the ultimate success in our lives uh, is accepting Jesus in our hearts uh, and living for him, God. Uh, and I pray, Lord Jesus Christ, uh, that someone here in this broadcast today, God, uh, will say yes to you, Jesus. Uh, say yes to your way, God. Uh, I know Oh, God, it's not an easy process, God, uh, to serve you, Jesus. Uh, there's a lot of bumps in the road, God. There's a lot of things that we got to go through, Jesus. Uh, but knowing, oh, God, that you're with us, God, uh, even if we fall down, Jesus, uh, we brush ourselves off, God, uh, and keep on going, Jesus, because uh, you got us, Lord God. You never say the way was going to be easy, Jesus. Uh, you never say it's going to be a bed of roses, God. Uh, you said narrow is the gate, Lord God. Uh, that leads to life eternal, Jesus. You said, wide is the gate, Jesus, that leads to destruction, God. Lord, you did not make uh, hell uh, for us, Lord God. Uh, you made hell for the enemy and his angels, Jesus. Uh, and Lord God, many, Lord God, uh, refuse, oh God, uh, to accept you in their hearts, Jesus. Uh, many refuse, Lord God, uh, to follow your way, oh God. Uh, many refuse to receive uh, that you are the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Uh, many refuse to believe, God, uh, that you are the way, the truth, and the life, God. Uh, many refuse to believe uh, that you died for our sins, Jesus. Uh, many refuse, Lord God, to believe that you are the true Messiah. But God, we pray today, Jesus. Uh, we speak a word, Lord God, uh, to someone's life today, Jesus, uh, that they will understand uh, that you are calling that young man, uh, you're calling that young woman uh, to say yes to Jesus Christ today. Uh, Lord God, uh, we pray for the power and the anointing of God uh, to move on their life. Jesus, uh, wherever they are right now, God, uh, if they're sitting in their living room, Jesus, uh, if they're walking on the street, God, uh, Lord Jesus, uh, if they're sitting at a bus stop, God, uh, driving in a car, Jesus, uh, sitting on the, on, the, on the stoop of their house, God, uh, wherever they are, Jesus, uh, you're calling that young man, God, uh, you're calling that young man, uh, that young woman uh, to say yes to your will, God, uh, yes to your way, Jesus, uh, we pray for the power and the anointing of God to move on their behalf right now in the name of Jesus. Move in their midst, oh Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, sweep 
whoever community right now, every neighborhood, God, every bush right now, in the name of Jesus. Speak to every home right now, in the name of Jesus. Let your angel Gabriel, Michael, Lord God, speak to the hospitals right now, God, in the name of Jesus. Sweep through the prison system right now, God, in the name of Jesus. Someone in that prison system, God, need to know you as Savior, Lord Jesus. Many times you've been calling them God, but they still want to do their own thing, Jesus. Somehow you got to get into a place so you can get their attention, Jesus. And we pray like right now, God, uh, that you will speak to their heart, God, uh, speak to their mind, Jesus, uh, speak to their spirit, uh, that they need the Lord. We need the Lord, especially in these days, Lord God. Uh, so many violence, oh God, in our land. Uh, so many killings, Lord God. Uh, so many senseless murders, Jesus. Uh, Holy Spirit of God. Many people, oh God, are suffering from mental illness, Jesus. Lord God, something, oh God, is amiss, Lord Jesus. The enemy is going to and fro into the earth, Lord God, seeking whom we may devour, Jesus. But we bind them and plan the enemy right now in the name of Jesus. We pray for our children right now, God. Lord God, they're going through so many things, Jesus. They're they're struggling, oh God, with their gender identity, Jesus. You made him a boy, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord God, you made him a girl, Lord Jesus. But because of Satan, Satanic, oh God, situations, Jesus, generational curses in the line, God, all kind of filthiness done to children, Lord God, all kind of satanic rituals, God, Freemasons, God, all kind of skulls and bones, Illuminati's, God, all kind of things on leash onto this earth, Lord God, the enemy, oh God, is doing what he wants to do, God, because many doors are open to him, Jesus, but we bind never been planning the enemy right now. You're going to lay your hands off these children in the name of Jesus. Even in the womb, Lord God, they're trying to say that the baby in the womb don't know if he's a boy or a girl. Oh, Lord Jesus, the enemy is a liar today, God, in the name of Jesus. We bind up every plan that he has there, God. Holy Spirit of God, even the spirit of abortion right now, God, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, to having a baby, Lord God, is a gift, Jesus Christ. We should not take for granted, God, but Lord Jesus Christ. So many people, Lord God, saying it's their bodies, God. They could do what they want, but they don't understand that you gave them their body, God. You are the reason why they live in Jesus. You are the reason why they have life, God. How dare they say, this is my body. I could do what I want. Holy Spirit of God, understand. God gave them the body. Your body is the temple of the Lord. Holy Spirit of God. God. We ain't got no business doing all the stuff that we're doing to it. Lord God, smoking all kind of things, God. All kind of things that destroy the body. Drinking or two, we ain't got no sense, Lord Jesus. Holy Spirit of God. Not in control of our, our faculties, Jesus. Lord God, not eating proper food, God. Holy Spirit of God. Not realizing, God, that each age as we get to, certain things we gotta cut off jesus lord god you said lord jesus when you drink to get drunk lord god you said we drink to excess god it's a sin jesus and if we eat to excess god it's a sin father and lord jesus christ holy spirit of god many don't realize god that our body is unique jesus you gave it to us for a reason we need to take care of it god lord Jesus. We can't do whatever we want, God. Holy Spirit of God. We got to know our limits, Jesus, in what we're doing, Jesus. Holy Spirit of God. Oh, God. Holy Spirit, rain down on your people today, God. Rain down on your people today, Jesus. Moving our governments right now in the name of Jesus. Shift their God. Shift the atmosphere in the, in the government, God. 
Let it be about the people, God, and not about themselves, Jesus. Holy Spirit of God, blessed be your name. Everybody in government, Jesus, would it be a governor, a mayor, a president, whatever you are, God, let them be truthful, oh God, to the people, Lord God, that they govern, Father. We bind up, oh God, the spirit of racism on today. In the name of Jesus, blessed be your holy name. Let love abound in the atmosphere, God. In the name of Jesus, we pray, oh God, for those who are sick today, God. Those are in bereavement today, Jesus. Of a loss of a loved one, God. We pray you touch them right now. Comfort them where they are right now. In the name of Jesus. Those are sick on their bed right now, God. Lord Jesus, touch them right now. In their bodies, God. In the name of Jesus. Shekinah glory. Jehovah Rapha. Holy Spirit of God. Move on them right now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, God, for the power, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for your anointing, God. Thank you, Jesus, for your blessing, God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the service, God. Thank you, everybody that joined in Jesus. Thank you for our team, Lord God. Touch them, Father, in the name of Jesus. We pray for leadership right now, God. They will lead according to your word, God, not according to flesh, Jesus, but lead according of the Holy Spirit, dear God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit of God, fire the living gold. God, hallelujah. Shine upon us, Jesus. Rain on us, God. Rain on us, Jesus. Rain on us, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless your name, Jesus. We bless your name, God. We pray, Lord Jesus, for those in the streets right now who will minister at the dome, oh God, on third street jesus you know who they are god we pray for them right now in the name of jesus we pray you show up and show up in their lives dear god in the name of jesus thank you god thank you lord jesus thank you for all the supports oh god that connected this ministry jesus thank you lord god thank you for more than are coming lord jesus thank you for them god thank you for finances for this ministry god in the name of jesus thank you for your power coming to move lord god as ever before, Jesus. Thank you for this communion right now, God, as we prepare our hearts and our minds to receive this communion, Jesus. As we say thanks in the name of the Father, name of the Son, name of the Holy Ghost, amen and amen. Praise God, hallelujah. We magnify your name, Jesus. We lift up your name, Jesus. We praise your name, Jesus. Whether you are right now, just lift up your hands, hallelujah, and say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Uh, Given the highest praise, which is hallelujah. Oh, bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We magnify your name on today, God. We lift you up, Jesus. We praise you, God. Hallelujah. 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 We magnify your name, Jesus. <clears throat> Holy Spirit of God, we bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We magnify your name. Go to your name, Jesus. We honor you, Jesus. We praise your name, Jesus. Holy Spirit of God, we magnify your name, Jesus. We're about to go into communion, Holy Spirit of God. So if you have a biscuit, a bread, or... um cracker whatever it is you have a juice you could have wine you could have a drink whatever it is uh you could put it, it in a container a small cup and you could have it prepared and as we take our communion it is a symbolism because the, the word of god says as often as we do it we do it in remembrance of him and we may not be able to be able to wash the feet but that's also part of it too. But we will continue taking the Lord's Supper, um, the bread, which represents his body, and the the the, the liquid, the, the juice represents his blood. So we're just thankful today and we bless your name, Holy Spirit of God. I'm gonna read um, 1 Corinthians 11. Verse 23 
to verse 30, 32. And then when I when I say for you to take the communion, then you take it then, even though I, you hear me read it, but you still wait until I say, take it. So if you get a chance, get some communion bread, get some bread, uh, biscuit or a juice, whatever you have, uh, and print it before you. And we're just going to go ahead. I'm going to read 1 Corinthians 11, verse 23. I'm reading from the King James Version. And it says, for I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he break it. Hallelujah. He break it. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. And said, take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took his cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as often as ye drink it, in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he comes. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat his bread, eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily, unworthy shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let every man examine himself, and so let him eat of the bread and drink of that cup. He that eat it and drink it unworthily, eat it and drink it damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. And when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord that we should not be condemned with the word, with the world. So when Jesus sat with his disciples and he broke bread with them, and he, this is this last supper he had before he was going to be crucified. And he spent some time with them and he said, he, he wants us to uh, consistently, we could do it on a daily basis break bread and and, and uh, drink the wine or juice, whatever, just symbolizing. You're remembering his blood that he that was shed on Calvary. You're remembering his body, Holy Spirit of God. He was nailed, his body was nailed to a cross, Holy Spirit of God. So he wanted his disciples, he wants us to remember him. Hallelujah. As we're doing this, Holy Spirit of God. This is something we don't take lightly. Yes, it may be a, a, a bread, it may be a cookie, whatever it is. But as you're doing it in this instance, Holy Spirit of God, it's a serious process. So you should not uh, be joking about it, Holy Spirit of God. <clears throat> you should not do it unworthily. So if you have committed sin in your heart, and you have a heart of forgiveness, we, you're going to pray, you're going to ask God to forgive you of your sins. And we pray that those who receive the communion are those who have experienced, experienced Jesus Christ in their heart, who have surrendered their lives to the Lord. Because you don't want to do this uh, communion, doing it unworthily, Holy Spirit of God. You want to do it in reverence of, of what Jesus did for us on calvary bless the name of jesus so right now we're going to take the bread and we're going to take it to those who have it if you have it put it in the chat if not it's okay i guess i'm the i'm believing wherever you are you're taking the communion so if you did we're going to do it right now so uh you're going to take the bread we're going to take it take it with this bread represents his body and we're doing the name of the Father, the name of the Son, the name of the Holy Ghost. Let's be on them. As we take the cup, this represents his blood. And we do this in the name of the Father, the name of the Son, the name of the Holy Ghost. I love you. I loved you. 
I love you, Lord, today because you care for me in such a special way. That's why I praise you. I lift you up. I magnify your name. That's why my heart is filled with praise. Oh, Lord God, thank you, Jesus, for miracles on today, God. We bless you right now. Name of the Father, name of the Son, name of the Holy Ghost. Amen and amen. I just want to welcome everybody here on this line, those on the broadcast. Thank God for those on social media, those oh, uh, on uh, Carib Vision everywhere. You listen to this broadcast. Thank you so much for joining in. And I pray that as you hear the word, you listen to the service, something about it will make your heart be blessed. And I ask that you write us and let us know what this ministry has been doing in your life. And God bless you. And thank you so much for joining in. Now, the next voice you're hearing right now is that voice. Greetings from Reverend Cynthia Walters. Bless the name of Jesus. I greet everybody today. In the name of Jesus. So glad you're watching and hearing. So grateful to God after a Thanksgiving. I can join with my daughter, Faith, Dr. Faith Walters, to send greetings to all of you today. We're here really because of God's goodness to us. We're here because he loves us. He cares for us. And we need to focus on him and his goodness, and regardless of what the situation is in our lives, we need to focus on God. God is all we have, and when we have God, we have everything. And it is a good thing and a good feeling to be a child of God. And I would say even at this point, anybody that is listening to my voice, at this point and you do not know the Lord, I would encourage you to take a, the first step by believing that he died, he came to earth, he died on the cross for you, and whatever sins or anything in your life, he, he has already done the job. To, for All we have to do is just ask him to forgive us, and you can build a great relationship with him, the God that created us. For we, he made us so, because the Bible said we are fearfully and wonderfully made, and we, we just don't just come here. We're here for a purpose. And I think today that some of us don't realize how much blessings we have to have life. And even to wake up this morning, we give him thanks for life. And he just didn't made us and leave us there. He gives us purpose. Every one of us have purpose. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. And we have purpose. And so we wanted to find your purpose in life. I tell my folks that the sky is the limit. You can reach anywhere you want to reach in life. And we don't have to pick up the baggages that the enemy tried to give us to carry, like depression, discouragement. Where, where are we going from here? Where do we come from? And all of that stuff. All we have to realize that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. And God created us in his own image. Mighty God in his own image. God looked down. He's the first one. First, we are the first only person that God made on the earth. And when he finished it, he said it was good. Yes, amen. And he said it was good. Everything else, he, he, he would not comment in that way. But with man, he said it was good when he made man. That is to say how important we are. In the, in the mind of God. And he loves us and loves every one of us, no matter how we are. All we have to do is just to realize that we are the children of God. He's our father. He's our father. Every one of us. He created us. We just didn't just come here. He created us. And the Bible said in his own likeness. And God loves every one of us, no matter what the situation you are going through today. Anybody at the sound of my voice, know that God loves you. And all you have to do is to say a prayer. God, thank you for dying on the cross for me. I believe that you are the son of God. 
you came to earth, you gave your life for us, you've been resurrected, you know, with your, you're with your father in heaven. And you said, any man and any woman that come to me, he will no, in no wise cast them out. So all we have to just say the word. And we have to speak it. You just don't say, oh, I love the Lord in my heart. You got to say it out. You got to say it out. Say the word. Speak it out. When you speak words, when it goes out there, it's activated and it becomes effective. And it will do whatever you say, set, it set forth to do. So God bless your hearts today. Whatever you're going through, know that God is your source. It's not, the almighty, it's not the almighty dollar, it's the almighty God. He wakes us up this morning, told us in our right mind. Some people didn't make it, but we are blessed to see another day. And when you wake up in the mornings, just touch yourself and see you have life. I said, thank you, God, for life. But the Bible said, we could say, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. And thank God for your life. Didn't matter what state you're into, whether rich, poor, or middle, middle age, or middle class, or wherever, whatever term. Thank God for life. Thank God that you can walk, you can talk, you can feel yourself, you're breathing. Give him thanks. Always be thankful. We just finished Thanksgiving um, celebration, and some people don't even know what to thank God for. They always probably see the, the disappointments in life and see the things that they didn't have and the things that they want to have. It's not a matter, it's not a matter of material things now. People of God is, is to know Christ as your Savior. Your Savior. Your Savior. He's the only one that's going to help us to make it to heaven. Or we just don't go to heaven because we say we want to go to heaven. And so many people die and everybody put them up into heaven. But you've got to start from the foundation. You have to accept Christ as your Savior and friend. And repent of your sins. Yes, and somebody would say, well, I don't have any sin. I didn't do any harm. We all were born. The Bible said we were born in sin. Satan and iniquity. But God has given us a chance to come back to him, to repent and ask him for forgiveness. Don't, don't cost your dime. It is free. Salvation is free. Yet, in the other hand, on the other hand, it takes the Son of God, which is so costly. It takes the, son, the life of the Son of God to redeem us from sin. They killed the Messiah so that you and I, or whoever is listening to my voice, can be redeemed and can be changed. And when people ask you, what's the matter with you? Tell them, you have been redeemed. But Jesus Christ came in your life. May God bless your hearts today and trust the Lord. He will give you money. He will give you health. You can trust him for all these good stuff. He'll give you a house. He'll give you cars. If you turn your life to the Lord, if you don't know him yet, he said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all is righteousness. And all these things will be added, added, added unto you. And all it takes is just a step in the right direction to serve God. Just give him your life today. Ask him to come into your heart if you do not know the Lord. And those of us who know the Lord, keep trusting and believing. Just don't know of God but know him for who he is. Like the three boys who were there throw into the fire furnace. They, they knew who God is and know who he was. And know that even if the king, they didn't even go get an attorney. They said, well, we're just not doing anything. Why are you putting us into the fire furnace? They said, even if God do not deliver us, we are not going to bow, for we know God, not of him, but we know the God that we serve. And so I would encourage us today that try to know the God. And you just don't talk about that you know God. You got to go into the word. But the word, and it, there's life, and everything about God. You want to know more about God, open the word. 
feed upon it the word and it will stimulate your hearts and mind to trust him more those boys when they were when the fire and the thing that gets to to me is when he said heat the fire seven times hotter i don't know if fire could get hotter than fire that's how evil and wicked that king was but those boys said i don't care but then god alone that he couldn't sleep so people when anybody's doing anything trust me god will cause the people who do hurt people to be confused wake up early in the morning could the bible said he couldn't sleep all night because he was disturbed god will trouble your enemy for you so just be careful what you say god about god's people and when the king get up in the morning to see the people walking the three boys and he saw a second another person there it's, it looks like the son of god that's how god gives all of us protection when we are in his care God bless your heart today. Trust him. Believe in him. Trust him with all your heart. He said he will give you the desires. I don't know what your desire today, but anything, healing, deliverance, breakthrough, financial situation, if you trust him, he will give, he said it. He will give you the desires of your hearts. God bless your heart today. And may you live to see many, many years and many blessings come along as you decide to accept the Lord and serve him. God bless you. Hallelujah. Thank God for Reverend Cynthia Walters for sharing that word on today. And I pray that you are encouraged by it. Thank God for her being able to give us that greeting. God desires your heart. You know, I don't know why this is what the Lord is emphasizing on today that we surrender our lives to Jesus Christ. Amen. So that's the, that's the epitome of our life is to give God everything he desires. He wants everything from us. Praise God. Uh, Lady Patricia Johnson says, thanks Cynthia Walters for sharing God's word with us. God bless you. Yes, yeah, she's very grateful for that. Thank you, uh, Lady Johnson. Praise God. Just thank God for everyone that's that's coming coming forth. And right now, we're going to listen to a, a testimony uh, from uh, part of our community outreach. God bless you. Some words. Say some words. Thank you, Lord. And uh, well, God bless you. All right. And so, a happy, what is yes, it, Wednesday? Down, down. Yes, happy Wednesday. Okay. God bless you. Praise God. Praise God. That's part of our community outreach. Uh, we give out uh, packages into the community and we, um, you know, just bless people, let people know that Jesus loves them, you know, because everybody needs encouragement. And what, and what I'm grateful for and what we're grateful for in this ministry, that every track we've given out and every package we've given out, not one, one track was on the ground. That one track, track was left anywhere that I could see it. Because the other times uh, when we used to give out, people would give out tracks, you see it thrown across the ground. And I, I thank the Lord that the tracks that we give out, no one puts it on the street or drop it anywhere or throw it in the garbage can. So I'm grateful to the Lord for that. So that means the word of the Lord is reaching as many people as possible. Thanks for watching. Please join us next time for the continuation of this episode. Stay tuned. Connect to the ministry resources and support us in whatever way the Lord laid on your heart to do that. And we're thankful, we're thankful in advance for your donations and for your support in whatever the way the Lord leads you. And we pray that the words that were spoken today will be an enrichment, enlightenment into your life, and your life will continue to continue to push and to, to grow and to build and to ex advance to levels unknown. And I thank God that you're able to be with us, and I thank God that this word is a blessing to you. And I thank God for Eileen Smith and Patricia Johnson and Cynthia Winter, Winters Atkins, Yumi Radio. 
Thank you so much for joining in. But uh, what did you say, Patricia Johnson? Yes. Thank God for those and others who are, who are on YouTube. Thank you again for joining in. And as we say, uh, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable, acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. God bless you. And don't forget to be thankful. Thankful for everything that God has done for you. And know that I love you. And Jesus loves you more. Thank you for staying with us today. We invite you to come back again and join Apostle Faith Live on Sundays at 2 p.m. for Bible education and church services, and Wednesdays at 2 p.m. for Feature Wednesdays, where we share messages from other kingdom leaders from within the WAMO network. Are you a kingdom leader with a message of hope and inspiration for the children of God? Send us an email with your message to support at wamo.org or join the WAMO Media Network via our website, wamo.org forward slash network. Are you in need of prayer? Email prayer requests to support at wamo.org or join our prayer line, Monday mornings at 7 a.m. Lord God, we thank you for being such a great God. We thank you for being a loving God, a gracious God. If you need help to overcome low self-worth, heal your marriage, restoration through therapy for children, teens, individuals, and couples, book an appointment for therapy with Dr. Faith at our website, wamo.org forward slash counseling. You may also access self-help resources at our website, wamo.org forward slash resources. If you would like to become a member, volunteer, or partner with WAMO Outreach Ministries, send your email to support at wamo.org. Come as you are. Why you should join this ministry. 1. To empower people for success in the Kingdom of God through Bible education. 2. To provide support services for the upliftment and development of your community. 3. To empower children and youth to increase their knowledge and earning potential by advancing their skills and professional capacity. 4. To provide solutions for families who need shelter, a place for worship, skills development, and access growth opportunities for community leaders. And 5. To provide support and a source of hope for senior citizens, ex-convicts, and people in need. It's easy to support this ministry, here is how you can help. Through tax-deductible giving, easily accessible everywhere via our website, at wamo.org forward slash give. You can give a one-time or monthly donation, or contribute funding to one of our programs. Become a member of our community or volunteer team, apply at our website, at wamo.org forward slash membership. Become a member of our network, and let us work together, to build and grow a strong, healthy community of Kingdom Advocates. Empowering people for success in the kingdom of God. Sign up at our website, wamo.org forward slash network. Other ways to join us and support the ministry. Subscribe on YouTube at Wamo Ministries, Apostle Faith Live. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Wamo Ministries. Contact us anytime at Women and Men of Excellence Outreach Ministries. P.O. Box 2077 Mount Vernon, New York 10551 Telephone, 914-699-2482 And email support at wamo, w-a-m-o-e, dot org Your support and generosity will positively change lives.